taking on the big shots and working hard to get you answers. Eight on your side, Steve Andrews investigates. They have no intentions of doing anything to him. They are angry with the contractor who took their money and did not deliver. And now they're not too happy with law enforcement either. For many of them, the work was done wrong, unfinished, or just not done at all. You've heard the old saying, the wheels of justice turn slowly. Well, tonight, those customers tell eight on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews, those wheels appear to be stuck. Good evening. Clients of contractor Danny Musgrove have one question for law enforcement. Where the heck are you? Who is holding this man accountable for what he did to you? Nobody. Nobody is. What I think of it is that they're not doing their job. This is what you call dissatisfaction with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. I think it's just sheer laziness. All clients of contractor Danny Musgrove, all paid him tens of thousands, all feel jilted. 20 grand from Paul Moran for a screened in room. You've got my money. Why didn't you pour the concrete? Why didn't you build the room? 25,000 from Jay Levy for a room addition. He didn't do the things he was said he was going to do. The sheriff's office contacted Jay last year. He sent them his paperwork and heard nothing. It's lip service. Hey, we're, we're going to do this for you, or we're looking into it. Well, looking into it and not getting back with anybody, in my estimation, is not doing your job. <laughs> Brenda Dijon paid Musgrove 111000 to build her Wesley Chapel house. As they investigated, Pasco detectives came across several other cases in Hillsboro. They indicated that they are willing to share all the information, um, basically do Hillsborough's work for them. According to Brenda, Hillsborough shows no interest. And they just keep turning a blind eye. They say it's civil, it's not criminal, and it's basically not their issue. I contacted both the Hillsborough County Sheriff's and Florida Attorney General's offices. Both claim they have active, ongoing investigations into Musgrove. Uh, I'd like to know their definition of active because it's not the same as mine. Brenda Dijon believes Musgrove deserves jail. But if she waits for Hillsborough detectives and prosecutors, she believes it won't happen in her lifetime. They have no intentions of doing anything to him, which is really sad because most of his victims are in Hillsborough County and most of them are, if not all of them, are senior citizens. Earlier this week, Florida's Attorney General recognized World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Well, these elders are aware they've been had and they're waiting for someone to do something about it. In Hillsborough County, Steve Andrews, 8 on your side. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.